In this video series, we will create a double story building using Revit. We will be creating this building in small, easy steps. We will create a new project file. Select Architectural Template and click on OK to open a new file. We will use US Imperial units. You can download the link of the Architectural Template and Project AutoCAD file in the description below. We will insert AutoCAD file as our CAD link. Make sure Level 1 is opened. Now go to Insert tab and then click on Link CAD button. Select Ground Floor Plan. Now choose Option Current View Only. We will change the color of the link file elements to black and white. Now we will select the units for import. I will select feet. Now click on open to link the CAD file here. Our CAD link is inserted here. Now we will select this CAD link. To move the CAD link, we need to unpin it. Click on the pin to unpin it. Now move the link to desired location. We will place our link at the center of elevation markers. Now we will pin the link again to keep it fixed at its location. Now let's create grids. We will go to Architectural Ribbon. In Datum section, we will click on Grids. We can create grids lines by drawing them or we can use existing lines of the CAD link to draw grids. We will use Pick Lines button. Now click on the grid line in the Auto CAD link. We can see our grid is created. Similarly, we can create few more grids. Revit will automatically assign next number to new grids. Now we will create horizontal grids. Click on the grid line of Auto CAD link. Revit has assigned the number 9 to the grid. We will change this grid to A. We will uncheck the checkbox from end and we will show the grid to the start. Similarly, we will create more grids in the horizontal direction. Now we will change the location of grid bubble from end to start. Our grids are ready. Now if we do not want to see our CAD link, we can hide it. We can hide CAD link using multiple options. We will go to View tab and then click on Visibility Graphics, or we can press VG or VV as a shortcut. We will go to Imported Categories tab. Now uncheck this ground floor plan to hide it from the view. We can see that our CAD link is not visible here. Now to show the CAD link, we will press VG to open Visibility Graphics dialog box. Go to Imported Categories and click on the checkbox next to Ground Floor Plan. Now if we want to temporarily hide the element, we will select the element. Now click on Temporarily Hide Isolate button. Now click on Hide Element. Our element is hidden temporarily. If we want to exit from this view, we will click on Reset Temporary Hide Isolate. Now let's draw dimensions to our grids. We will temporarily hide this CAD link. Select it and click on the Temporary Hide element. Now we will go to Annotation tab. We will select this Align Dimension or press DI as shortcut. Now we will keep on clicking on all the grids. Now click on the open space to finish the command. Now we will repeat the same steps in the vertical direction. Our grids are ready. Now we will click on the reset temporary hide isolate to show the CAD link. We can see CAD link dimensions and Revit dimensions. Now let's create a new level. We will open Elevation View. Now go to Architectural tab. In the Datum section, click on Level button. 
Now we will draw a line to create a new level. We can change the height of level by entering desired elevation. We will change it to 12.5 feet and top level to 24.5 feet. Now we will move all the grids by clicking on this small circle and dragging it above the roof level. Now we will start creating walls. In this project, we will create a 14 inch thick cavity wall. This cavity wall will have 4 inch thick exterior block masonry wall, 8 inch thick block masonry interior wall, and 2 inch cavity for insulation. To create wall, go to Architecture tab and then click on Wall button. Now click on Edit Type and then click on Duplicate. We will name it as 14 inch thick cavity wall. Now click on Edit Next to Structure. Now we will insert two more structures here. 8 inch thick structure is already there so we will change the first one as 4 inch thick. Now middle structure will be 2 inch thick. Now we will assign material to our structures. Select concrete masonry unit. This material has block masonry pattern. Now we will assign the same material to our 8 inch thick wall. Now for middle cavity, we will change the structure to thermal air layer. Now our cavity wall is ready. This is the plan view of our cavity wall. We can see the section of cavity wall from here. Now press OK. Now we will draw our cavity wall. Here we don't see the details of our cavity wall. We will change the details level from coarse to fine. Now we can see there are three different structures in our cavity wall. We can see 4 inch wall is shown inside so we will flip this wall. Similarly, we can create all the walls by tracing them from the CAD link file. We have created all the walls, door and windows by tracing them from the CAD link file. Now we will create floor. Open level 2. We can see the walls from the ground floor grayed out. We will draw floor on top of these walls. Go to Architecture tab and then click on Floor button. Click on Edit Type and then Create Duplicate Floor. Name it 6 inch thick floor. Now click on Edit Next to Structure. Change the thickness to 6 inches. Assign the material as concrete cast in place gray. Now press OK twice. Now we will draw the boundary of our floor. We will click on the outer lines of walls. We will choose pick lines option. Now we will click on all the outer edges. Now click on finish button. We will attach to the walls to the bottom of floor. Floor is created. We can see this floor in 3D view. We can see all the walls are attached to bottom of floor. Now let's copy all the walls, doors and windows to first floor. We will select all the elements by making a window around them. Now click on Filter button. Click on Check None and then click on Walls, Doors and Windows. We have selected Walls, Doors and Windows. Now click on Copy to Clipboard. Then click on Drop Down option of Paste. We will paste a line to selected levels. Now we will choose Level 2. 
We will open the 3D view to see the walls. We can see that all the walls, doors, and windows have been copied to our first floor. Now we will open level 3 to create roof. At level 3, we can't see the walls below. We will go to the properties of level 3. Here we will go to underlay. We will change the range base level from none to level two. Now we can see the walls coming up to level three. Now let's create sloping roof at level three. Go to architecture tab and then click on roof button. We will create a sloping roof on top of these walls. We will keep the defined slope checkbox on. Now we will select Pick Lines option. For overhang, we will type 3 feet. Now we will click on the external walls to create a roof. We need a closed boundary to create roof, so we will join these two lines. Now we have a closed boundary. Now we will create our roof type by clicking on Edit Type. Duplicate this roof and name it 6 inch thick concrete. Now we will edit the structure of this roof as 6 inches. And assign the material as concrete cast in place gray. Now we will finish our roof. To see the roof, we will open 3D view. We can see concrete sloping roof has been applied. If we click on front from view cube, we can see front elevation of the building. We can change the view directions to see it from other side. Now we will create our drawing sheet. We have open drawing sheet. Now we will drag and drop our ground floor plan from the project browser. Similarly, we will add first floor plan. East elevation. West elevation. And a section of the building. Our drawing sheet is ready. In the next video, we'll learn how to create stairs and how to make sectional details. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.